Hi, I am Chaitanya Vardhan Kandula, a graduate student in Subsea Engineering at University of Houston. Today, I am going to explain about an application that I have developed for Subsea Pipeline design. Typically, a, pipeline, a Subsea Pipeline will have the following steps involved in its design process. The first one is wall thickness calculations and finding the pipeline weight for various scenarios and finding the various forces and the friction factors involved, the lateral and axial for uh, different scenarios, different design cases, and the installation load analysis. This is how uh, the stresses are while the pipeline is initiated, uh, well, uh, is installed. And checking the pipeline for its stability, checking the wall thickness for, its, for the pipeline stability. If it is not stable, we have to add more concrete and that we're going to discuss in the coming presentation. And apart from this, there, there should be one more tab here and that is pipeline span analysis that I'm going to develop in a couple of uh, days. It took two weeks for me to come up to this phase. Uh, I'm hopeful that I'm going to complete the span analysis with which uh, the entire application will be ready. And I'm going to uh, give you a walkthrough about, uh, about the application using the inputs that are uh, taken from my, my pipeline design final project that we were assigned in our uh, course. So this is the project that we were given. And first one is to find the wall thickness uh, for 30C, uh, all these scenarios. So the outside diameter, it is given as 10.75 and the minimum depth is 7,000 feet. The maximum depth is 7,800 feet and the internal pressure, it's 7,000 PSI. Coming to the density, it was given as 20, pound per cubic feet. I have selected a material trim of FF and a corrosion elements of 0 0.1575 inches and these are the wall thickness in various uh, codes according to the various codes and the 30 CFR 250 is the most accepted uh, criteria. So which will be the most conservative case because we will not consider any effect of the external pressure in the 30 CFR 250 and hence it will give a more conservative wall thickness and hence it will be selected. So in the come in the selected thickness tab, it shows the same thing and the selected thickness will serve as an input during the operation will serve as an input. So that is it and external corrosion coat thickness. I think it is given as yeah it's 24 mils 24 mils and external corrosion coat cutback density is 90 coat cutback is 6 inch field joint infill density is also 90 and the joint length is 40 and concrete weight thickness initially we assumed 0 and if the pipe fails the on bottom stability check we have to come here and we have to give increase the wall thickness and the concrete weight density, it is uh, 190. Let me check. Yes, it's 190. And water absorption, it is given as zero. And minimum product density, it is given as five. And pipeline length, let me check it for five kilometer pipeline. And these are all the different weights that are associated uh, for different design cases. For operation, this is a total submerged weight, submerged weight per unit length. And dry weight and dry weight per unit length and this is the specific gravity for the pipe in each different case and let us move on to pipeline pipe soil interaction and these pipe weights will serve as an input to the pipe soil interactions uh, in order to find uh, the axial force and uh, the friction factors and these are the soil properties and these are also given as an input uh, you can see here yes these are all the inputs that are given so let us go with it best estimate is 20 uh, low estimate is 10 and this one is 30 upper estimate submerged unit weight is 20 pcf strength sensitivity is 3 and factor of uncertainty is 1 this is also it's 1.5 actually yeah so these are all the various friction factors involved in each different case uh, we'll select Two different laydown factors. Uh, laydown factor. Uh, this is given uh, in the according to the code that we have considered. I guess it's DNB. 
so yeah laid on factor of 2 and 3 we have to check for various friction factors these are all the friction factors that we have obtained and these factors will serve uh, will also serve along with the weight calculations uh, in the on bottom stability check and let us discuss about the installation load analysis so let us it is given as 85 degrees lay angle and we assume the lay to be a j because it's sub c pipeline that we are going to install uh, and sub a combined stress if safety uh, factor of 1 and insulation pressure as 0 psi and these are all uh, the various plots that are associated this is the shape of pipe uh during up to the touchdown point during insulation with the loads the static loads that we have considered and this is the one mice stress at each and every point of the pipe uh, until it's the touchdown point so at every point it is below the yield uh, with a factor of safety i can say around 2 so we can assume that the insul during insulation uh, the process the the pipe is safe and this is the deflection versus strain and this is the plot of deflection versus lay tension so here comes all these are a part of uh, uh, the pipeline insulation analysis and on bottom stability so the significant wave height of a 10 year storm is given as 25.2 feet 27.2 27.2 feet and a wave spectral peak period it is given as uh 12.6 seconds the spreading factor it's considered to be 1 and current speed it's 1.57 feet per second it is given as an input and current reference height is 8 9.84 feet and bearing heading it's given as 90 coming to the 100 year storm it is given as 42.8 feet spectral period it's 40 14.5 seconds wave spreading factor of 1 current speed as 1.85 feet per second the current reference height it's it will be the same 9.84 and bearing it, it will also be the same bearing angle and coming to the soil properties the grain size it's considered as 0.0625 feet mm and roughness as 0.00 0.521 and these are all uh during the operation the vertical stability check is 40 and the horizontal these these should be greater than 1 and the unity check should be less than 1 uh, unity check is nothing but the required weight by the submerged weight and if it is less than 1 and the pipe is said to be the safe and so for the selected thickness it is sufficient and there is no additional weight of concrete that needs to be added and in some case if it is needed again we have to go back to this tab and we can increase the concrete uh, weight thickness concrete thickness here so that is how we can make a pipe stable and we have to check for it and i'm i'm going to complete the span analysis in the coming time uh, so this is what i'm going to present thank you so much for your time